Okay, on this particular video, we've got another really amazing strategy for you to be able to take uh, regular PPC ads on Google. Um, you could use the same thing uh, on Bing. For the most part, this could be applied to Facebook or something else that you might be doing too that's driving sales for your business right now. Uh, for you guys that really just haven't gotten any success with PPC yet, you've tried. You know, 90% of the people that try Google for, you know, some period, short period of time, maybe a few months, they didn't have success with it, they gave up on it. You want to know the secret, so to say, to get it to work. This method right here can easily, you could, will help you, uh, if you got a, even a few sales or a few leads, this will greatly, greatly amplify what you're doing to the point where you should be able to make money. I don't care what you're selling or what you're doing. Why? because nobody is doing this. It's very, very obvious why this works, as you'll see as I'm gonna go through this method, but also very straightforward to do. The main thing that keeps people from doing it is they, A, don't recognize uh, how much adding a little bit more extra energy and effort into their campaign will make, realistically, so they just then put it off and say, hey, I'm not gonna think about that, because it's easy to, to in business for us to not do things uh, because we don't want to do things and if it, we don't understand and know what the outcome of our efforts will be it's easy to just not do it at all and not test things uh, whereas I can tell you there's no testing involved with this you should, you should do it it'll make you a ton of money enough which you should be able to if you got ads going already double the profit that your ads are making every year already uh, make, in other words, making a million a year, you could start making two million dollars next year once this is implemented, and then four million the next year. This is how much of a difference this is actually going to make on your campaigns. And again, if you're not making or haven't made any money yet, start out by just doing this one thing. Start out with investing 500 bucks a month on ads, see for yourself it works, and then reinvest your money into it, and you could be as big as the big guy in your space with doing this method here for yourself that works 100% of the time. For every market, doesn't matter if you're e-commerce, if you're uh, generating leads, doesn't matter if you're national service, local service, local product seller, doesn't every business that can sell and make money through PPC ads, which is basically everybody, can use this method and get way better results than the average Joe is gonna get without working through this method, which gives you an immediate edge on what everybody else is doing, which if you do everybody else, what else? To, if you're doing what everybody else does with your PPC ads, uh, you're going to get everybody else's results. If you do this, nobody else is doing it in your space. 99% of the time, you're going to get the above average results. You're going to be able to take the visitor, which you know everybody's paying five bucks for, and you know getting fifteen dollars return. And instead of fifteen dollars return, you can get fifty, which makes the program work immediately for you. So. Or, or something like that, uh, you know, ultimately you're getting more from the same traffic. The competition can only pay so much to get their traffic and then you're going to be able to benefit from sucking up all the traffic in your space, so on and so forth. So anyway, I think you get the idea. You know, basically, this is not about um, focusing on a new traffic source. It's just taking the exact same traffic that you know works and you can only squeeze out so much value out of it, so many sales out of it, so many leads out of it without this method attached. You layer this on top of what you're doing, same exact people now make, you know, three, four, five, upwards of ten times more money uh, depending on what stage you are at this. And I'm going to give you examples of the, at the end of the video about other businesses where I applied this to so you can see for yourself that this can work for your type of business because I, I use this so much. I had a great variety of businesses to, to analyze and see how much this actually did act. add over a three year period for the companies given that we kept adding to it which is part of this methodology and that of these company types there's enough variety there that you could see that and there'll be no excuse why you should not know that this will work for your business and give you similar results as I'm talking about here where it could double the sales every year uh, and double uh, I should say the profit on what you're doing uh, every year as well. So not just doubling top line revenue, but easily doubling profit. 
So with that said, here's the methodology. I'm going to give you a quick background about the, the method, how it works uh, in general, and then how to implement, and then of course, at the end of the video, the case studies that talk about the results. So what is landing page cloning? Um, so the whole topic of the video, custom landing page, is about cu uh, custom landing page cloning and the method that you're going to use to double your sales. What landing page cloning is, is basically, and this is not an industry term, this is a term that I kind of coined myself here, which is you have a, you know, if you're using a landing page, usually everybody sends all their traffic from their PPC campaigns to their landing page. If you take that landing page and, and make a copy of it or clone it, as I say, you can make a, that landing page more tailored to another traffic source. Or in other words, what happens on Google is there's you know hundreds of keywords that you're targeting if you're doing it effectively, basically. If you're not having hundreds of keywords, it should. But respectively, you can specify keyword one goes to this page and keyword two goes to this page. And by doing that, you can improve your results. Quite a bit, in fact, enough to where you can double your profit every year using the rest of my methodology here that I, and I'm going to show you exactly what I use to double the profit every year. But basically that's what cloning is. So it's not a complicated thing I'm going to go into here. But why is it important to you specifically? So the reason why you're going to be able to double your profit every year using these, but taking a landing page that you have making slight, we're not talking about big changes. We're talking about teeny tiny little changes to that page i.e. for the most part just changing even the headline of that page so instead of saying this one thing it says something else and you're done and then that being what you need to do to cater to a slightly different user who's typing in a slightly different thing or has a slightly different intent you're going to be able to get two or three times as much value out of that visitor as the other person in your space who's not doing that would be that uh, what it, you're getting the where, where you're getting the, the doubling in profit, what, where that comes from is you're earning big by increasing the user average user's experience. If somebody types in that uh, ultimately they want you know foundation repair services, you know they, you could send them to your landing page, and for the most part, um, you know that, that you could it could say foundation repair company, but as much as it does, it seems trivial. Like, I can guarantee you that if you just send, just to simply put, for this, as simple of an example as I can can give you for this, if they're typing in uh, foundation repair services instead of foundation repair company, be the first thing you tell the person on your landing page or where you're taking the user to. You say foundation repair services, and you get an immediate 40 to 100 percent increase in your conversion rates just doing that. And there's a couple other things I'm going to tell you. You're going to be able to do to your page within basically five minutes, if you will, to be able to take your, your even more than the 40 to 100 percent increase in, in leads or sales that you're going to get from that uh, one example. But that's the in general what you're doing because basically what this, to go one step further, is this is actually taking the risk out of investing the user's time into your site. So basically there's a book called uh, Don't Make Me Think and, and if everything about web advertising and your website and marketing it has to do with in terms of making the most money possible is getting that user who already has a need or you may be actually developing the need but for the most part with Google Ads which is keeping it simple you're taking somebody with a need and you're trying to convert them into a customer and the less you make them think when they get to your say uh, your landing page or your site the more that they're gonna at the higher chance they're gonna buy from you basically because Google you know, when somebody gets to your site from a Google ad, they're looking for foundation repair services. The first thing they're, they're saying to themselves when they get to the pages, can they do what I need to, them to do? Does it look like they're trustworthy? And those are the two main things. Um, so when they get to the page, they're, they're literally, their mind's in like autopilot mode. They've got all this stuff on their mind. They're tired from work, whatever. And just that one fact that you typed in, or you have the headline actually tell them exactly what they searched on Google at the time is going to allow them to be totally like half asleep which this is the average user this isn't the exception here to get to the page and like without having to mentally think about anything like subconsciously there's like uh, uh, they can they'll know 
that first question, as I mentioned, that they ask themselves, can they do what I need them to do? They don't have to think. And therefore, you immediately get a 40 to 100% increase on your, your investment by doing that one little simple thing for your user. And if you go a step uh, further and you make the page, uh, like if they're typing in, uh, if any instance on the page where, where else you have foundation repair um, on the page and you're saying foundation repair services, it also adds to that. And I'll go into a few other examples, but you get the general idea. The whole premise here though, is to make it just doing work very small things that's gonna make the user not have to think, which is gonna give you a higher increase in conversion rates, which is gonna go into making more money uh, and go into this doubling of profit that you're gonna get every 12 months running your ads. But the actually going into it specifically, if you wanna know why it's doubling the profit, uh, we actually get three different ways that this is gonna actually make money. This, by the way, like I said before, this could work for lead generation companies or people that do e-commerce. If you're doing e-commerce, by the way, and you're wondering how this is done, it's actually very simple still. If you send traffic, so first of all, for an e-commerce company, you can send traffic, basically, you can decide for each keyword, or you should, they should go to, whether they, uh, you decide whether they should go to a uh, category page, or a search results page, or actual product page. And a lot of times you send people to a category page. Well, in that instance, what I'll do to execute this method for an e-commerce company is I'll just have the page there and I'll copy it. And I'll make an exact copy of that category page, even though it's not a part of the site technically. And if they click on any one of the options, we just send them onto the option that they wanted. So if you will, it's like a virtual version of that category page so that up in the top of the page, we can say something uh, to the user to let them know easier that you're in the right place. If you were looking for 12-inch um, subwoofers, and you know you send them you send them to the 12-inch subwoofers category page, and they should know right away, right? That, you know they're in the right place. If you make it even even more stupidly easy for that person to be half asleep and know that they're the right place. You take a copy of that page and then you put 12 inch subwoofers up in big text, you know, like 72 or 36 point font at the top of the page, you're instantly going to get a jump in conversion rates. And so obviously when you do that, um, then you can take, you can do that same thing over and over again. So the point where uh, if they are searching for 12 inch subwoofers, a uh, thousand watt, then you can then send them to another copy of that page that says 12 inch subwoofers, thousand watt, and that's the kind of what methodology you're going to use for a e-commerce company. For a service company, it's, it's easy. You have usually just one landing page, then you can clone it, change the headline, so on and so forth. But the, in order to do, so the three ways that you're making money though, if you do that, if you do this in general, is you're going to get a quality score increase by doing just the headline change by itself without changing anything else uh, by about 30%. And that's going to equate to about a 44% increase in ROI just by changing that headline. Um, I have a pie chart here so that Google has a quality score system that decides what you're going to pay for a visitor. Uh, as I mentioned before, all that really comes down to on Google to make money is you just got to outdo your, your competitors based upon how well you're serving their users. Because if you serve their users better, Google wants to send the traffic to you and they reward you by paying less for the same exact user. And if you do a crappy enough job at it, they'll raise the cost so much you basically, it's impossible to make money, which is what they want to push people to do better. But the um, landing page experience, or in other words, Google measures how users interact with your landing page or where you take the user to after they click on your ad. and 39% of deciding what you actually are paying for the user, whether it's 10 bucks or five bucks or three bucks a click, the same exact type of person depends on what that user's interaction with your page. And just by changing the headline by itself, you're gonna get a 40 to 100% increase in conversion rates, more so generally closer to 40%, just to give you a general disclaimer here. But with that, your, your quality score then immediately between that and the um, 
your ad relevant score. So ad relevance is how Google thinks the ad is relevant to your landing page. Well, if your landing page now says what the key, what keyword you have, well then your qual your ad relevance score is going to go up a little bit. And so all around your quality score for that keyword that you've done made a cop a special landing page for it and just adjusted your headline should go up 30 percent. And ROI. Uh, because the the the, the uh, quality score going up thirty percent, your cost per click should go down forty four percent, which gives you a forty five forty four percent increase in ROI, or roughly speaking, around there. So that's the first way that you make money from this thing. As a general disclaimer, you got to be in order to do this, you got to be using what they call a skag method. So a lot of people will put a bunch of keywords in an ad group and have one ad for all the keywords. If you want, if you're doing that right away, you can instantly make you know, double, triple your money per uh, dollar spent on ads if you put one ad, so you have an ad group with just one keyword in it each time, and so you can have an ad for every keyword. In that case, you can have a custom ad for every keyword, which if you put the, you have to handwrite these, don't use software, it doesn't work the same. The keyword in the headline, so when the user types in 12 inch subwoofers, they see exactly what they want in the ad, so you give them, give them that and then you send them on to your page that you have the ability to control what that user sees after they click on that ad, which then in this particular case, they're now gonna start seeing 12 inch subwoofers at the top of the page because we made a template, if you will, to have that at the top of the page as well. So you can do this, it change over to the skag method and get a huge return on it itself, but assuming that you have that already, this cloning of the landing page on top of that is gonna get you another 44% increase and ROI on top of what you already got, with just that one thing change in the headline. Beyond that, um, you're going to get that 40 to 100 percent increase in conversion rates. Conversion rates it, it in itself. So in other words, whether they respond or whether or not they buy, respond, i.e., turn into a lead, call, or a form fill, you're going to get another 40 percent of people just increase the actual physical response, and that happens immediately as soon as you do this by having the keyword that they typed in in the headline. So you actually get the 44% increase in ROI just by having your quality score going up. And then you get this other 40% jump in conversions just by having the user wanting now, or the user, yes, wanting, but can actually convert at a higher rate because there's less people going to the page saying, oh, I don't know what this page is about. Click, you're gone. And, and because they're half asleep and so on and so forth. You're not, and you're, 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 you're spoon feeding them more in that case, and you get another 40%. The third way you actually make money from this is you, it makes, the, and this is where the doubling in profit every year comes from, because you can only obviously, so assuming, let's say you go through your whole account and you make a landing page for every keyword so that the headline is changed each, each time. Um, you can actually, the next year, you'll, what I'll recommend that you do. Uh, or, you know, of course, right away is you go into what they call the, the search terms report in your account. And that shows everything people typed in and later on converted into a lead or to a, into a sale. You take all those search phrases and you create ad groups for each one of them, make ads for each one of them, and then you go ahead and use this, this method and you make a cloned landing page for each one of them so that the search term, which is now a targeted keyword, is now in the headline of the landing page. And that right away is going to be able to get you a lot, lot, lot more clicks from your market. And uh, you're going to get even higher ROI because your quality score is going to go up even more than this 44% because, you you know, when somebody's typing a five word phrase and your ad exactly says that, your headline exactly says that, you're going to get a lot even bigger returns than taking a usual keyword and having that usual keyword in the headline. Uh, because you know, the user is going to be like, wow, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Um, so, but uh, specifically how this makes new keywords profitable. So there's a, with this methodology, you're going to make a copy of the landing page. There's ways to make keywords that normally wouldn't have worked before that will now work because you now have the capability to tweak that landing page for that user so that that user thinks that you offer them something that's catered enough to what they're searching for that it'll ultimately work. Let me give you an example. So 
So let's say we sell fireplace inserts. Basically, install parts to do a, a fireplace, gas or brick fireplace in, in a house. And the keyword, we couldn't do it before, or not very well, somebody's looking for best quality fireplace inserts. So they're looking for like reviews. Just setting them onto a, a, a normal, our normal site that says, you know, fireplace inserts and then set, show them our products, it's not very effective and probably not, you know, make uh, as much money as our other stuff would, would, where people are already looking. They're towards the bottom of the sales funnel and they're already looking for the product already. We can take our landing page and we have, in that case, the headline can now say best quality fireplace inserts. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a sub-headline spot if I have a, that, so that I can have some language in, the, in these particular cases where we can't just send them on to the, to, to the products itself or just send them on to the main information they need to respond and say something like, we have the highest quality fireplace inserts uh, proven by our 4.9 uh, Google reviews rating on Google or according to our consumers reports review um, and then have your products directly in the, underneath it so your headline matches the keyword and then you have this paragraph that that, that mentions why uh, what they were searching for is solved by what's uh, what's on that page in the sub headline and then you have your products underneath it and so that can get your keyword like best quality fireplace inserts to work um, if you had a keyword like it so that we can, it also makes keywords like in, with info people looking for information work as well how do I fix my foundation well, normally just sending them onto your your landing page that has uh, you know a contact form and so on and so forth that uh, and for a service that offers foundation repair somebody's typing in how do I fix my foundation uh, you could what you'll do is you'll make a landing page make a copy of it your clone your landing page have your keyword say how to fix your land, uh, foundation at, up at the top and then directly below that to give you an example of how this works for non-e-commerce companies. Uh, how to, uh, to fix your foundation, um, what is involved is basically you got to do X, Y, and Z and technically you could do that but for the amateur it's very extremely difficult and 90% of people who do it mess it up and they cause even more problems. Okay. Cut that part out. Uh, sorry. 90% um, of people who do try it, cause you, it costs more than just hiring a professional in the first place. With that said, we can actually tell you whether or not you can do this yourself or you should have actually have a professional do it by contacting our company. And so then you can actually sell the service that way. So you get my point here. As a general tip, I mentioned just changing the headline, you're gonna get a basically for sure, for sure, a 40% increase in conversion rates, upward to up to 100% in some instances. If you want a 100% increase in conversion rate by doing this clone landing page method, then down below, instead of just changing the headline, each instance on that page where, um, what's a, let's say I sell a water filter, that's, that, and one of the features is that it um, also makes the water alkaline. If the keyword is that so the user typed in into, on Google and search phrase, alkaline water filter products. Then they get to our page, we've made a clone so that the headline can actually say alkaline water filter products. Any other text on our page that our sales page or our landing page, whatever you want to call it, we take people to, um, every time normally we would be talking about our water filter product or our product, it's going to say our alkaline water filter product. So it's basically just going to regurgitate the same word over to the user and that's going to get you closer to the 100% increase in conversion rates. On top of that, you can increase your quality score by more than 30%, technically by doing that as well. A little bit more than that, not astronomically more, because actually, as a part of this ad relevance uh, portion, which is 22% of the quality score uh, algorithm that Google has that determines how much you're paying for a click, is based upon that ad relevance. Well, half of the ad relevance is, as I touched on before, um, whether it scans the landing page and see if the landing page is also relevant to 
the the ad. So in other words, they look at the ad and the landing page. A lot of people don't know this. Uh, so as to determine that how relevant the ad is to that user for a specific keyword, if you will. It's not just the ad. And so the landing page, because it now has, instead of just the headline matching the user's keyword, uh, exactly, it has two or three or four instances of that same keyword like laced through the page. This is similar to how keyword stuffing used to work uh, for SEO back in the day, and sort of does still work to this day. And then your headline, your, at the same time, your URL, which each clone landing page can now have a URL that matches the user's keyword, that ad relevant score will pop up. Eventually, ad relevant score is a smaller portion than 22% because basically it has real data to go on. But your landing page experience score will be a little bit higher. You get a little bit more uh, increased quality score, a little bit more conversion rates doing that. So I would actually recommend um, going obviously all the way, it's worth it to do. Uh, specifically, if you can get somebody else to make the pages for you, you just make the first two, explain the system, do a video uh, showing what needs to be done to your assistant, get it done, throw the headline, and the, the, the keyword is on the page several times there, and uh, take full advantage of this cloning landing page method that I have kind of perfected here, if you will, that to be able to double your profits every year. But going back to um, the how it's going to make this system here, having the ability to clone landing pages and just doing it in general is going to make the new keywords profitable. I talked about how, though, uh, keywords like best quality fireplace inserts to a fireplace insert seller wouldn't be ultimately that valuable. Just add, adding that custom headline and then having a paragraph of text underneath it that talks about your reviews and then your normal uh, products are shown underneath it, which that paragraph can just be customized and it's in the same spot each time where that same paragraph goes on your quote unquote clone template. Um, that's that's going to work a great portion of the time pretty much for any keyword if you just understand how to write good copy. Believe it or not, this is a stat that's went around a lot. I don't know if you know it yet, but 15% of searches on Google are every year are unique or all the time if you want to say that. So whatever people are searching on Google this year, next year there's going to be 15% of more searches that Google's never seen before. So ultimately, you're going to set all this up. Next year, you're going to go into your search terms report again. And any search terms that are there that weren't there last year, which will be a ton the first year because uh, you need a lot of data to see all the variations of searches that there are because there's a bunch that get searched once and not very, again, for a long time that you're going to be able to set up a whole bunch of new ad groups for a whole bunch of different search terms that you want to be having as keywords now. So you could do a custom ad and a custom landing page, uh, as I mentioned on this method specifically here on this video to do. And then you're going to be able to leverage the strategy further. Given that all these, these uh, terms that are searched less, you may not think it's worth it, but I can assure you I'm getting close to 20% uh, click-through rates on some of these long keywords like uh, energy efficient uh, gas fireplace insert where nobody's going to normally have an ad for that but I'm going to tell put that on my ad for that one person who's searching for that crazy specific thing and then my my page now has that in the headline that that works so much more efficiently than just you know quality fireplace inserts and having a dedicated page for that because it's even more novel to the user so you'll have um, l less keywords to make new ad groups from every year, but the ones that you do make will be even more profitable than the year before, if that makes sense. And so I want to say for the first three years, you can double your profit for 90 plus percent of businesses are going to be able to double the first three years. And that may go a little bit further depending on what business you're in, but basically that's the method. You go, you do all make a landing page for every keyword, you wait a year, you do it again with all the new search terms in which you don't have dedicated ad groups for, and you make an ad and a landing page for each one of those, and you just keep going with it until you basically don't have any, uh, pe any people searching, which will ne actually never completely be closed up, that you don't already have ads and